Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a Huawei Mate 20 Pro smartphone here and you want to know how to connect it to a LG Smart TV. It's very, very simple. The first thing is you have to open the screen sharing window on your LG. So let's go ahead and do that first. So the first thing is we need to go to the screen here called screen share. And on my model, my LG Smart TV here, I can simply click on this button right here. If I click on that, and then you see on the right-hand side, I can scroll down and, and I can go to screen share right there. Another way to navigate to it too, is go to the home. So on your remote, go ahead and press on the home button. And then you'll see all these apps pop up. And then if you scroll down all the way to the right, keep going, keep going until you see screen share. And it's right there, that blue one, it says screen share right there. I'm gonna go ahead and press on enter. Now I have this screen up here. Now I'm ready to connect my Mate 20 Pro. So go ahead and whip out your Mate 20 Pro. And here, slide down to your notifications. And then you wanna look right here and it says, wireless projection they don't call it screen mirroring or screen share it's wireless projection now take note the thing is you have to be on the same wi-fi network your phone has to be on the same wi-fi network as the tv so go ahead and tap on wireless projection right there and right away it says it's searching now okay so i found my lg uh smart tv right here let me go ahead and tap on that and now the first time that you connect to your lg tv you'll get this message here Huawei Mate 20 Pro requests screen sharing to your TV. Do you want to continue? I'm going to go ahead and press on yes. And voila, we are in business now. It looks like that we are in desktop mode. So let's go ahead and get out of that. So let me go ahead and slide down the notifications again. Let me go ahead and slide down again. And on the wireless projection right here, let me go ahead and press and hold this. And now you can see that under projection mode, we're on desktop. Let me tap on that and let's just go through the phone mode. So let me go ahead and tap on phone down here. Then we get this message right here. And it says here, you have exited desktop mode. Do you want to re-enable Bluetooth? Okay, I'll go ahead and click on enable. And now we are actually screen mirroring. Everything that is on the phone is gonna show up onto your LG Smart TV exactly the way it is. Even if I go ahead and put my phone to sleep, it's gonna do the same thing to the TV. Let me go ahead and wake my phone back up. So from here, everything that I do, I can go ahead and open up a YouTube video. I can go ahead and open up uh, Google Chrome here. You can go ahead and browse the net. We can go ahead and turn this in landscape mode as well. You can do your reading like this. You can share your documents. Of course, you can play games on here as well. Maybe I'll do that in one second. You can also view like uh, documents projected on the big screen. And a lot of you guys are probably here is because of photos and videos. So everything that you have stored locally on your phone, like, let me go to my gallery and I'll show you like a photo and a video here. So we'll go to my gallery here. And here's a photo here, right here. Let me go ahead and focus in. You can see how clear that is on the TV. That's actually a video here. Let's go ahead and play the, uh, the video here. Let me go ahead and you can see it's an exact image there. Let me go ahead and press on play. Testing, one, two, three. Testing. The volume comes out of the TV, not the phone, okay? And here's a photo. You can see here, of course we can zoom in. You can see that LG on my remote right there. Let me go ahead and play a, a quick game here of PUBG and you can kind of see the uh, how much latency there is, basically a delay from the phone to the TV. So give us one second to boot up. Okay, so if you're playing a game that's graphic intensive, it's definitely a little bit of latency. You can see when I push right, left. I mean, it's like a fraction of a second, but it'll still be pretty difficult to play especially a game like PUBG. So if you're playing a game that's not so graphic intensive, then sure, go ahead. But if you're doing something, playing a game that's really graphic intensive and you need like precise precision every time, then I don't recommend. You can see as soon as I turn the plane, it's like a fraction of a second. So you can still play, but it's, it's going to be like a delay as if you have like a bad uh, Wi-Fi uh, internet connection. So anyways, there you guys go. Guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. All right, bye.